On May 3, the Saudi-led coalition entered Yemen. According to reports, about from 20 to 50 soldiers have landed in Yemen's strategic port of Aden for a reconnaissance mission, and more troops are coming. The deploying of Saudi-led forces seeks to help forces loyal to U.S. Saudi proxy President Hadi. Lately, a spokesman from the Saudi-led coalition, Brigadier General Ahmed Asseri, has denied the claims about a ground operation in the port. There are no foreign forces in Aden, but the coalition continues to help fight against the Houthi militia, Asseri said in a statement. Notwithstanding the denial of any ground operation in Yemen, Saudi Arabia has started training hundreds of Yemeni tribesmen to fight the Houthis on the ground. The training received by Yemeni tribesmen in Saudi Arabia allegedly includes light weapons and tactical advice knowledge. According to the Reuters source, the kingdom plans to boost deployment of such units to fight the Houthis resistance. Another source reports some 300 fighters have already managed to return to Yemen after getting Saudi training. They were allegedly sent to the Sirwa district in the central Marib province to battle Houthis in the area. The fighting is ongoing on a number of major fronts. In Aden, the Houthis are engaging tribesmen who were supported by Saudi-led air forces. In Yemen's third largest city, Taiz, Houthis are fighting the Sunni Islamist fighters. The Houthis and their allies have also been fighting with both Islamist and local tribesmen in Marib and Shabwa provinces, therefore a valid part of the forces in Yemen, which Saudi Arabia is training and arming with US intelligence and logistic support, are radical Islamists. Probably the only forces that are gaining as a consequence of this conflict indeed are Islamic State and Al-Qaeda. Human Rights Watch says it has credible evidence that the Saudi coalition has used cluster munitions supplied by the United States in its airstrikes against targets, including those close to cities and villages. In recent weeks, the US-backed coalition has used cluster bombs in Yemen's northern Sadar governorate, a region bordering Saudi Arabia, which is historically controlled by the Houthis. Cluster munitions pose long-term dangers and are prohibited by a 2008 treaty adopted by 116 countries. The World Health Organization said recently that at least 944 Yemenis have been killed and nearly 3,500 injured since the start of airstrikes campaigns in Yemen. Now we can perceive the reason for these numbers. Senegal's Foreign Minister Ndiaye confirmed on Monday that the West African nation would be sending a detachment of 2,100 troops to Saudi Arabia as part of an international coalition cobbled together by the kingdom in its war effort in Yemen. The amazing fact that Senegal declared involvement in a war thousands of miles away from its borders while dangerous West African terrorist group Boko Haram has declared allegiance to the Islamic State and has changed the name to Islamic State's West African Province or ISWAP. Furthermore, the Senegal force isn't engaged in interstate coalition which opposes ISWAP in the region. The Islamic State has claimed responsibility for a foiled attack on a controversial Prophet Muhammad cartoon contest near Dallas, Texas that ended with both assailants being shot dead by a traffic cop. The announcement was made on the group's radio station. Mainstream US media doubts that ISIS was directly involved in planning and choosing the target of the attack. It's the first time that the Islamic State has claimed it was behind an attack on US soil. However, it definitely isn't the first market ISIS developing in the USA. Therefore, the group doesn't focus entirely on Iraq and Syria, as US officials want to believe. In order to get additional political revenue in the ongoing conflicts in the Middle East, U.S. has lost the moment when so-called moderate rebel groups, often supported by U.S. government, have arisen in America.